Lesson 8.4, Fraction and Whole Number Division Using Multiplication. We can divide fractions by solving a related multiplication sentence. To divide a whole number by a unit fraction, we multiply the whole number by the denominator of the fraction. We have a whole number 3. We just multiply it by the denominator of this unit fraction. So remember, unit fractions have 1 for a numerator. We just do 3 times 4. That's equal to 12. So 3 divided by 1 fourth is equal to 12. So here's a model of what we did for 3 divided by 1 fourth. We split 3 whole rectangles into fourths. We count 12 parts. Multiplying the whole number by the denominator of a unit fraction will tell us the number of fractional parts. Remember, unit fractions have a 1 as a numerator. Here's another example. We have 2 whole divided into thirds. We have 2 divided by 1 third. We have 2 whole rectangles. They're each divided into thirds. We count 6 parts. We just do the 2 whole and multiply it to the denominator of this unit fraction. 2 times 3 is 6. We have learned that we can write a whole number as a fraction by giving it a 1 as a denominator. This can be used for any whole number. To write 3 as a fraction, we just write it with a 1 for a denominator. We can even do it for 999. We just give it a 1 for a denominator. We've turned 999 into a fraction. You're going to learn more about reciprocals when you get into the beginning of 6th grade. And two numbers are reciprocals of each other if their product equals 1. We have 3 whole written as a fraction with the 3 as the numerator and a 1 as the denominator. If we multiply it by its flipped upside down version of itself with the 1 as a numerator and a 3 as a denominator, we get 3 thirds, which is equal to 1 whole. So 3 over 1 and 1 third are reciprocals of each other. We can even do it with the number 10. We can write it with a denominator of 1. We can multiply it by its flipped upside down version of itself as 1 tenth. And 10 times 1 is 10. 1 times 10 is 10. We have 10 tenths. That's equal to 1 whole. So a 10 over a 1 and a 1 tenth are reciprocals of each other. We can divide a fraction by a whole number by multiplying the fraction by the reciprocal of the whole number divisor. So remember, the first number is the dividend, so the 2 is the divisor. We can write 2 over 1, and if we flip it upside down, we have 1 half. These are reciprocals of each other. 1 fourth divided by 2 is equal to 1 fourth divided by 2 over 1. And we can write the reciprocal of this 2 over 1 as 1 half and multiply it by that dividend 1 fourth. We get 1 eighth. We have 1 fourth of a rectangle, and if we divide it by 2 into two parts, one of the parts would be 1 eighth of the entire rectangle. The shaded part is 1 eighth of the whole rectangle. And the quotient, that 1 eighth, will be less than the 1 fourth because we're splitting the 1 fourth into two pieces. So our quotient is less than our fraction dividend. If we divide a fraction by a whole number that is greater than 1, the quotient will be less than the fraction dividend. We have 1 fourth divided by 2. The reciprocal of 2 whole would be a half. We'd flip it upside down. And we multiply it by that 1 fourth, we get 1 eighth. And this 1 eighth is less than 1 fourth. The quotient will always be less than the dividend. If we divide a whole number by a fraction less than 1, the quotient will be greater than the whole number dividend. So now, our dividend is a whole number. We're dividing it by 1 fourth. We can just do the whole number times the denominator of this unit fraction. It's 3 times 4, it equals 12. We have 3 whole split into fourths. We have 12 parts. We could also take 3 and write it as a 3 over a 1 as a fraction, and then do the reciprocal of the divisor. So that would be 4 over 1 instead of 1 fourth. And then when we multiply, we get a 12 over 1, which simplifies to 12 whole. And 12 is greater than 3. The quotient is greater 
than the dividend. Now you need to be very careful and pay attention to the equations. 2 divided by 1 third and 1 third divided by 2 are not the same problem. 2 divided by 1 third means we have 2 whole that is divided into thirds. We have 6 pieces. We can do 2 divided by 1 third by multiplying the by the reciprocal of this divisor 1 third as 3 over 1. And 3 times 2 is 6. Sorry about the focus. And 1 times 1 is 1. That simplifies to 6 whole. And 1 third divided by 2 means we have 1 third of 1 rectangle. And it's divided into 2 parts. And 1 of them would be 1 sixth of the whole rectangle. 1 third divided by 2, we can multiply it by the reciprocal of this divisor 2, which would be a 2 over a 1, and its reciprocal be, would be 1 half, a 1 over a 2. And 1 times 1 is 1 for the numerators, and 2 times 3 is 6 for the denominator. We have 1 sixth. So for these examples, the quotient is less than the dividend. The quotient is less than the dividend. We have 1 sixth divided by 3. We can multiply using the reciprocal of this 3 as a 1 third. And multiplying it by the dividend, 1 6, we get 1 18th. For 1 half divided by 4, we can multiply the, divi the dividend 1 half by the reciprocal of this divisor as 1 fourth. Instead of 4 over 1, we flip it over to be a 1 fourth. We get 1 eighth. We have a whole number divisor, and the quotient is less than the dividend. For these, the quotient's greater than the dividend. Now we have 6 whole divided by 1 third. We can multiply the reciprocal of 1 third as 3 over 1 by 6 written as a 6 over 1. We get 18 over 1, which simplifies to 18 whole. Here we have 4 divided by 1 eighth. We can multiply the reciprocal of 1 eighth as 8 over 1. Multiply it by the 4 as a 4 over 1, written as a fraction. We just multiply straight across. We get 32 over 1, which simplifies to 32. So this quotient is greater than the dividend. It's got a whole number dividend. So do you see the difference? This one, the quotient is less than the dividend because we've got a whole number divisor. This one, the quotient is greater than the dividend because we have a whole number dividend. Mrs. Kim has six cups of brown sugar. She divides the brown sugar into bowls that contain one half cup each. How many bowls did she need? We think because the dividend is a whole number, we can just multiply six by the denominator two. That's a unit fraction. We can just do six times two, which equals 12 bowls. Or we can solve by multiplying the six as a six over one, so it's written as a fraction, by the reciprocal of the divisor. The divisor is one half, so we multiply by two over one. And six times two is 12, one times one is one. That's equal to 12 bowls. Sophia has purple ribbon that is four yards long and red ribbon that is three yards long. She cut the purple ribbon into equal pieces that were one-sixth yard long and the red ribbon into equal pieces that were one-third yard long. How many more pieces of purple ribbon does she have than red ribbon? So we can find the pieces of purple ribbon by doing the four divided by the one-sixth. We can find the red ribbon pieces by doing three divided by one-third. 4 divided by 1 6, this is a unit fraction, so we can just multiply the whole number by the denominator and get 24 pieces of purple. We have 3 divided by 1 third. We have a whole number being divided by a unit fraction. We can just multiply 3 times the denominator 3. We get 9 pieces of red. We find the difference between the 24 pieces and the 9 pieces, and that's 15 more pieces of purple. So be very careful as you do these. If you're going to multiply by a reciprocal, you do it 
with the divisor as the reciprocal. Our next lesson, 8.5, we're going to interpret division with fractions in word problems. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.